Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people. The Niemer here with another episode of Poker Quest. We're playing the mage here and we have this crazy manipulative kind of deck. <laughs> we steal enemy cards, we steal some more enemy cards, we cycle enemy cards and well, we try to fix them up so they cannot play anything and well, most of the time it works. Sometimes it doesn't though, so yeah. But anyhow, here we are on world 3.0 and uh, yeah doing well with resources mostly don't know what's ahead of us but let's see here well i could pick up four chips just like that and that's probably a good choice as long as this fight is doable so let's check it ice basilisk four cards rank five or lower attack 15 freeze 19 a random hero item Four cards rank 10 or higher, attack 29, freeze 3 to 5 arbitrary hero items, or three cards straight flush, attack 74, freeze 15 to 5 arbitrary hero items. Okay, this one is kind of hard to achieve, so hopefully he doesn't get it, but 246. Two, four, six. So it has seven cards. Well, six, seven, eight, and nine are blanks. So good chance he will not be able to do anything. So basically, we have to stop him from being able to do something here. So no frosty smiles and no icy stares. Yeah, I think should be fine. Famous last words. <laughs> If I see something interesting here, I might also go here. Gem. Oh, perfect. Heal plus two gems. Okay. Dwarven Miner. Two cards straight flush. Draw three. Okay. Pickaxe. Two pair. Attack 37. So the problem here is that as long as it has two cards straight flush, it will uh, draw three cards and probably get some pairs. Well, he will need two pairs. That's not so easy to get. Not on six cards, anyway. So that might be an option. But this is probably our goal here. You can also steal a card sometimes. But like, I don't know, between these two items, I'm, I'm very undecisive which one is better. This one fills our hand and gives us some good options for Splendid Axe of Robbery. While this one... Well, fixes things. <laughs> also does damage. I think drawing cards is very good though. I could buy another slot now though. So if I buy another slot, oh, actually can't afford it just yet. But once we pick those up, we'll be able to mm, farm. Pay the farmer one for free. It's not bad. It's not bad. We are starting to run out slowly, but surely. The Stormy Joker. He loses cards when hit and relies on the power of lightning, right? Mm, four more chips there. I probably want to go here. That will give me the most options. Now the only question is, do I want to buy a card slot and what do I drop? Like Bag of Holding is also pretty cool. Yeah, we don't really have anything to drop here. A lot of cards draw and stuff, so with this key maybe we don't need Circuit of Cards, but... Last fight I was in position where I was like, oh, if I only had it, right? Let's go like this for now not really confident against this shark i think i'm gonna need the bag of tricks oh so scary scared of this fight though okay four cards rank 10 or higher well he has three so that's scary for sure I can take one away from him. I have no idea what's hiding under here though, so... 
I should also reveal that probably. Hmm. Yeah, let's reveal so we know what we're dealing with here. Okay, he has nothing. I would like to steal cards, but I'm afraid that I just might mess things up. Although, on the low side, he's doing pretty badly. So if you take a high card, on average, let's see what we draw here. Oh. <laughs> so king is really tempting right now. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Oh, he drew two of them. So we need to fix it here. There we go. So he has like two of these. There we go. Two of these and two of these. So not even close, actually. Three cards straight flush. Well, close to that, though. So I got three kings here, which is really good for some magic missiles here. I mean, starting off with 66 damage. Don't mind if I do, right? No. One, he could have two more. I mean, I can like grab these, to see what's up. Okay. Hmm. So he has two big ones. And two small ones. So unless I'm super unlucky, he should not get four, right? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay, do we do damage here? That's the question. I mean, this is the most efficient one to do damage, right? I could do a gem. So two aces? Yeah, probably. Store these two, these two. Store that one. I need three cards here, so smack it with the axe because why not? The faster we kill it, the better off we'll be. Okay, he has one big one and two small ones. I would like to see what's hiding under there though. Okay. Two big ones, two small ones. Uh, that's pretty good still. Okay, nothing. Good, 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 good. That's really good. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's nice. Kablam. And then let me store my sp these. So this is a pair to it. If I do that, I do no damage this turn though. So do I want to do it or do I want to save cards so I'm having like stronger next turn? It's hard to say really. Three in a row would be nice. Well, we are close to having it here now. I'll probably have a chance to like play free cards into that anyway. Although next turn I'm planning to play like 
Yeah, let's let's do damage here. Let's keep the pressure up. If we kill it fast enough, we'll be fine totally. Okay, he has a lot of big cards here. I don't know if I can easily fix that. I mean, I can take that 10. And now I don't know what's underneath though. So. But if I do that. It's fairly unlikely it's going to be two big ones, right? I think it could be. I mean, I can check one of them out. Okay, that's a blank. Okay, that's good. I can do that. Steal the one big one and then we are safe. There we go. Okay, let's see. Can we do some damage here? I can do two queens actually. There. Store that. Store that. Get and we are almost done here. I might have lethal next turn. I'm not like that. Well, two kings. It's like forty. Pretty close. How's the situation here though? So so. Let's see what do we have here? Oh, an ace. Oh, he has two kings. Well, thank you very much. I'm gonna grab those. So that's gonna be 66 damage. And I'll need 16 more, right? Shouldn't be hard to pull off with an X. That's 21. That's 17. Mm. So if that's 17, if I reduce it by one, that's gonna be 16. So let's take a three, I guess. So like three, three and four. Yep, nice. Bye bye, Ice Basilisk. Nice knowing you. Cool. That was really efficient. Okay, here we can get some of these, but I'm like not really needing those. Farm would be really good, giving us some food. But problem is, I don't like the rest of things on this path. For now, anyway. I mean, if I take coins, what, what is there for me? Oh, I can hunt there, actually. So that's as good as farm. Okay, let's do that. You've noticed a hidden cave. You see two enemies in the cave, fight them. You'll receive 10. Well, I really do want to... But this might be our end, but uh, <laughs> okay. Three cards straight. Okay, any cards adding to at least thirty six. Mm. Draw one card when hit Essence of Frost. So how much, if I take this king and it turns into two kings, he still doesn't have enough. Actually, I just have to be careful of the three cards straight. Everything else is a wash. But that makes this move really dangerous. Well, not really. Okay, I can break these apart, so it's still pretty safe, but wait. He's gonna freeze me then. And if he freezes me, the whole point of drawing cards in the first place is lost, so. Oh, I can actually do that. Uh, yeah, that's cool actually. For the axe disruption, I don't have it yet, but it's pretty close. Okay, 27, so worst thing, 37, right? Oof, yeah, that's a bit awkward, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I believe in luck. 
There we go, 28. No straight, no nothing. Okay, cool. Draws a card when hit. Uh, well, that's a bit sketchy. So let's see what we can do here. I don't have what I need. This fight might take a while, but <laughs> it's important. Nothing bad happens, right? Well, we can't have that, so let's take that away from him. Thing is, it has a very big number. It has a very big number. I can also do that. I mean, we have quite a few of these, so... Ideally, I wouldn't, though. Let's see what we can draw here. Oh. 7, 8, 7. Hmm. Oh, wait. Got three of them now. That's good. So do, do I give him a card first? And the next turn we'd have to deal with that. Any cards adding freeze 38 on a random hero item. That might be a bit annoying, but I can probably handle it. And then I start dealing damage. Or just go and grab the card here. But if I grab a card, he's gonna do that anyway, right? That's fine though, probably, right? Yeah, this. I need to grab some cards so I can deal with the thing. If I give him a card here, can he get a straight? He can. If he lands a 7 or a 4. So I'm basically reluctant from doing like any damage until we stabilize a bit here. I'll need big cards to unfreeze though. That's just how it is. Yeah, this is a bit scary. Oh, he doesn't have enough. Wait, what? Oh. That's cool. Um... Well, I would love to grab the, the, the club. Oh, he has a three card straight also. Ooh, need to break that apart either way. And now he has exactly 36. And a straight as well. Fun times. I mean, we can trick him a bit here. Well, at least he doesn't have a straight anymore. Hard fight, hard fight. Okay, uh, I'll probably need to unfreeze here. Oh, I have four of clubs already, that's good. Okay, well, that's not the worst one. Next value after... Oh, it also decays. Okay. Uh, well, that hand doesn't look too intimidating. Mm. Like, not at all. I could use another club. So I can, like, steal a card when... It's tricky. Yeah, I want to like build up on clubs. For sure. 
Okay, he has enough to do another one of those. That's fine though. As long as he doesn't have like a straight, that's fine. Okay. Oh, now. So we can draw here and use those to unfreeze things if we need to. This is the first time I could land like a free hit though. And he'll not be able to do anything probably. So I think it's good time to do it. Ooh, also I have a really good hit as well. There. So I can uh, freeze magic missile and hit it with three queens. Nice. Uh, then he draws and doesn't get anything because that would be super lucky if he did. And now I can just store these back. There we go. This will go down. Nice. Okay, getting somewhere here. Ah, uh, he doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough. So I could just like end the turn here. Let me grab that club. There we go. Again, he doesn't have enough. Good, good, good. Nor a straight. Nice. Uh, well, actually, since he doesn't have enough, I could swing here, maybe. Let's see what we can draw. Oof, I can swing for a lot as well. He might get a straight though, but I mean, we have to like swing, right? Okay, he did get a straight. Now question is, can we break it? I could try with that first. However, that will get him a, a lot of resources, which is not too ideal. Well, I have to free four to steal a card. That solves the problem. So I need 21 to unfreeze it. Well, that's 21. So I can steal a card, but then he's gonna draw another one. But let's try. So this one is probably the best candidate, right? Or this one doesn't really matter, right? Okay, he didn't draw anything good. Okay, let's turn our cards into their boxes. And and the turn. Ugh, this enemy's essence of frost. Okay, he doesn't have anything. Good. So let's just store this then. 35 again. Doesn't have anything. Good. Oh, sudden that. Okay, so he's gonna start drawing more. But also getting more damage. Uh, it's alright then. Um, I could grab that queen. So 
smack it with that, destroy his uh, straight. Okay, he drew another one though. I can do that and that. I probably don't want to give him cards to draw while he has so many cards in hand, right? Yeah. Oh, I have three nines. How much is that? 70. Okay. I have a good chance to just kill him here, right? Oh, I don't have a nine of clubs, sadly, but 86 damage, 86 damage. So he got like 71. How much is that? 56. So that's not enough. That's not enough. So what can we do here? What can we do here? We can break this if we remove the king. Unless he gets another king. I could also get like four of the same. So four nines would be like what? 86. Over 100, right? And then this is like... 56 so if I could find a 9 that would be it then it's a bit risky though wait 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 what's in there a jack how much would 3 jacks be and one of them is clubs as well Would definitely be more. Hmm. Or do we just go safe here? Or try to be safe anyway? I mean, I could try to take the king, right? That breaks his things. Okay, good. So next round, maybe I can two shot him, hopefully. Oh, that thing is frozen. I need my three nines. I also totally forgot that also does 16 damage by itself, but okay. Okay, okay, okay. So how much damage do we do now with 3 nines? 103, that should be enough. And then this is uh, 65, yeah, that's enough, cool. So I need 54, how much is that? It's 57, okay, a bit too much, how about that? 55, 53, 
51 49 57 55 53 uh, 49 53 <laughs> just can't get the break here can I Fifty-seven, fifty-seven, fifty-nine, fifty-five. Uh, it doesn't seem like we can we can do it, but. Probably like some kind of multiplayer, so yeah, it's like either 53 or 50. You know what? I just can't. 70. Bye bye. We have another fight here, and this video is like almost uh, yeah, it's half an hour long. What the heck? Where is my time going away? Okay, Muck Demo Demon. Three cards straight, poison 17. Oh, that's super scary. But that's about it. Pretty simple enemy. It would be nice to know what's there, though. Okay, he has a three card straight. And I, the easiest way to break it is to take away that five. Yeah, but he's getting more and more openings for new straights, like a 7 would get it, or a 10. So it might be safer to do the bag of tricks here, like that. There we go. And now we can attack with impunity. Except we didn't draw anything, but that's fine. Gonna have it next turn. Okay, he has a straight again. Oof. Do we have cards to steal stuff though? No. Not yet. So let's say I take that one and then use bag of trickery. Mm. Plus one after this combat. What are the chances I do get like something though? Not really big, right? Poison 17 is a lot of poison though. Okay, so how's the best way to break it? Take the queen away, right? Yeah. There we go. So now I finally have some damage of my own. And that's pretty good damage as well. And there. Okay, he kind of doesn't have anything, but still, I don't know what that card is, so let's find out. Okay. How do we want to do this? I can draw. Mm. Oh. 
he has a pair of kings, which sucks for him. I could try taking this four away. Yep. Good. So let's store these then. That's cool, I guess. Come at me, boy. Well, that looks like a ridiculously bad hand, so... Ooh. Really? There we go. Mm. Well, I could do two tens. That's a lot of damage. So let's do it. Okay, let's store the rest. I have two eights as well if I want it next turn. I can store the eight if I want to. Well, these two are nice to be stored. They go well with each other. Well, sneaking some damage in whenever I can. Uh, it's a pretty strong hand. But we're gonna destroy it by taking the queen. There we go. Uh, not a huge fan. Well, I have 8, 9, 10, which is really good. I also had that, which is amazing. Ah, too bad. Oh, I can do that, I guess. There we go. Ooh. So yeah, we're really, really safe now. Like, I have an easy steal. Uh, three, six, three, four, six, seven, queen. Okay. So I can take a queen away. However, I can just steal it instead, which is probably safer. What the heck is that? There we go. So if I just steal it, he has nothing else, right? And we also do a lot of, well, decent damage in the process. So queen has to go, right? Yep. Okay, store these then. Ah, uh, I could do two queens. That's a lot of damage. Oh, I had a third one. I just noticed. I'm getting a bit tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see what's hiding. Okay, he has like 9, 10 jacks. So 10 has to go. 8, 9, 10. There. And then let's see, let's do some cards here. Okay, I have three. Oh, I have four fives. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we can, can we cook up 18? Uh, let's try. So two, six and seven. That's 21. How about that? 20. Okay, okay. Don't panic, don't panic. Uh, let's see what you have. Uh, how about we get another 2? So 2, 2 and 6. Okay. 2, 2 and king, that's 17. Okay. How about two seven and a king? That's nineteen. Eight and an eight. Well, look at that. Matt works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Let's smack it. GG. Oof. Perfect kill. Ten chips. Nice. 
Okay, well, no other choice than to take these. So we are at 32 chips all of a sudden. That's pretty interesting, if you ask me. I could go there and hunt food, and I probably should. Good. Okay, full HP. And time to make another cut. Castle Spades, here we come. Let's see what awaits us though. Ooh. Attack and curse. Three clubs, three spades, four black hearts. Well, we're gonna have bad time against us, I think. <laughs> we'll see though. Uh, a lot of cards. Anyhow, I'm gonna make a cut here. We are progressing slowly but surely with this very intricate deck. That's for sure. So yeah, if you're enjoying this uh, very calculated series, some likes and subscriptions would be amazing. In the meanwhile, well, have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode. Neomer out. Bye-bye.